my amigos and amigas welcome back to a brand new video hope everyone's having a fantastic day lately i've been receiving quite a bit of fan art i'll be showing some on screen as i'm talking and i just want to give a big thanks to anyone who's ever drawn me it just really means a lot to me thank you so much and if you drew me or you want to draw me and you want to send it to me this is my instagram send me a dm and i'll gladly show it here in the near future so i stumbled upon this news article and i found it really dumb but i also found it interesting and this article this amazing journalist i'm a little bumped that adele lost weight now i'm sure most of y'all know who adele is and to those of you who don't adele is a very and i mean very popular artist she used to be fat but she lost weight and now she looks great she looks healthy she looks happy and that's what life is about mm -mm. you might think that you might think well that's awesome sensitive why would someone be mad that someone lost weight in order to look better and that's because people are jealous little bitches this person said a little bummed out that adele lost weight yes i know this is not about me but it's not just about Adele either. <laughs> These are journalists in 2021. You go to school for three to four years to write these fucking articles that an idiot like myself could have written in about 10 minutes. You know how egotistical this is? Yeah, I want Adele to be a fat because I'm a fat fuck because I'm overweight and I refuse to do anything about it. So if I can lose weight and I can be skinny, neither can Adele. So Adele, I want you to pick up the burger and the extra mashed potatoes and I want you to eat it and I want you to gain 100 pounds again. Who cares about you? This is about me. This is about the legendary Shannon palouse it says adele is skinny now <laughs> she has been skinny for a while first in an instagram post last year then while hosting saturday night live this week we got a skinny adele in a music video ahead of her release for her album i'm not gonna cap here i'm not gonna lie i don't really care about adele she seems like a good person and i would love to have some tacos or some fish and chips or and tea with her her music i just never really got into it maybe she has some bangers i do like some songs i'm not even gonna lie but do i like her as much as i like eminem or kanye no I don't have a reason to hate her or anything. Oh, wait, actually, I'm lying. I do have a reason to hate her because she's skinny now. Many media outlets and random internet commentators oh, have celebrated Adele for becoming skinny. This has been met with a very specific form of backlash, which goes something like Adele is a mega talent whose music is worth blasting on repeat no matter the singer's size. Please stop treating this as an accomplishment. The backlash is correct. All right, let me break this down. I have never listened to music and then saying, hey, is the singer skinny? Is the singer fat? Oh, she's fat? Delete it. Delete it. I don't want it. Take it off my phone. Stop playing that fat person, please. Just put a skinny person. I have never thought of that. I like Adele and I listened to her song Rolling in the Deep before knowing she was fat. And it's not like I went, oh my God, that's Adele? She's pretty fat. I'm going to delete that song. I did not think, okay, this song is trash now because a fat person singing. I don't care if the song is a banger. It's a banger. You just want Adele to be fat because you're a miserable fuck. The article continues. And yet, even as I know that celebrating Adele's weight loss is wrong i am struggling with something different bitterness Ugh, my bad doesn't say that which is feeling a little upset about it which is weird after all adele is an adult human woman and i am a feminist yeah no one asked no one gives a fuck honestly why the fuck are you struggling with this if you don't even know her adele doesn't even know you exist and you're out here acting like you've known her for years or she's your friend yo what's going on Adele? it's me your friend sheila here i think you need to stop hitting the gym and what you need to do now is um put a cheeseburger or two in your mouth if you want to make me happy <laughs> right adele <laughs> this is actually kind of sad stop being so fucking entitled to someone else's body so now you want to control adele's body bitch you can't even control your own body put the cheeseburger down anyone can lose weight yes i know there's people who are sick and etc i'm just talking about the average normal fucking human being anyone can lose weight it's not impossible you just need dedication and a bit of effort she continues but i have been thinking about this all week <laughs> adele be living rent free in her head the thing is that adele had a body type that is not really frequently represented in the world of mega celebrity that she occupies partly for that reason i think it's okay to be disappointed that adele lost a ton of weight i can name some fat people who are in the music industry that are pretty big no pun intended lizzo she's pretty famous so there's a fat person go simp for her if you don't want to be an adele fan 
anymore. This person wants Adele to die of diabetes and just be fat forever so she could have representation in the media as a celebrity. That's what you want. You want people to be super fucking fat so you can feel happy and you can feel represented in today's slime, bro. Everyone knows here that I'm Latino. I do not sound white. I mean, I don't think I sound white. And I swear to God, I have never thought to myself, you know what Marvel needs? You know what DC needs? A Mexican or a Hispanic superhero. I want that person now or else I'm going to bitch and complain. Like if the character is good, I'll, I like it. I like Tony Stark. I like Thor. I like Batman and they're not Hispanic or Mexican. I don't care about representation. Just make good shit. Just make good movies. If the character makes sense and do it, if it doesn't, don't make it. I know I got a little bit off track, but I hate this whole article, but this part I spent specifically hate she continues i certainly am upset that adele lost weight i don't need to explain to you that the world is very very fat phobic and proud to that extent that going up a size or two in jeans as i have in time since adele's 21 rocketed her into fame is a reasonable nerve-wracking experience you're literally shaking pissing coming and doing everything at the same time because you gain weight if you do this i mean your life is pretty pathetic ah uh... Anyways, the article goes on and it says at the end, it's okay to feel a little disappointed because Adele is no longer fat and we need more fat celebrities. No, we don't. And then I went to her Twitter account. Editor for Slate covering health. How the fuck do you cover health and science and want people to be fat just because you want to be represented, huh? Shannon, I want you to answer me that. Now, this person has like 5,000 followers, really not that big at all. And this fucking guy, Mark Joseph Stern tweeted, I really love Shannon's article which has the added bonus of correctly identifying Taylor Swift as the greatest poet of her time. Bro, you're like 45. You're a verified fucking idiot. Yes, queen, Taylor Swift is the queen, yeah. Get alive. She's responding to the hate. She said this yesterday. All right, Twitter, you did it. Enough people are yelling, shut up, bitch, at me that I'm getting off here for a bit. <laughs> good and never come back you'd have thought of that before writing that fucking horrible article now this amazing tweet got 38 likes from brave stunning men and women it's got 142 comments and 58 retweets you got what the kids called ratioed because i could have written this and i'm not even a journalist and i suck at writing i don't know i guess you're just um pretty salty that you can't lose weight that sounds more of a you problem yet again Another example of lazy fucking journalism in 2021. Does it surprise me? Nah, 